Welcome to the Princeton Tech Viz headlamp. Uh, as you can see, it's just a standard type of headlamp uh, rubber band that just goes around your head. There is a adjustable strap here, so no matter how big your head is, you shouldn't have any problems getting this around your noggin. It's actually a waterproof unit. It's rated for IPX7, which means that it'll be able to handle about 30 minutes submerged in water about one meter deep. So there's a rubber gasket that goes around here where the battery compartment is, and it's just sealed together there with a screw right on the back. It's got a tilt mechanism here, so you'll be able to put that on your head and point that downward so you're not uh, blinding people at the campsite, which they will appreciate. Uh, but you'll also be able to look at your feet or where your feet are going so you don't trip over anything. Now there's a single button operation up top. This handles pretty much everything between selecting all of the different modes as well as the lockout features. So if you triple tap that, it'll lock it out so that just pressing it once will not turn it back on. Uh, that'll help prevent accidental usage inside your backpack or anything like that. So if you press it once, there's you get your two LED red. So this will help minimize your uh, damage to your night vision so you can still see in the evenings. Uh, whereas if you use the uh, single bright uh, LED in the middle, that's kind of like a headlamp function or a spotlight function. And at 150 lumens, this guy is pretty powerful. And on that setting, the three AAA batteries will last approximately 110 hours. Uh, I'm not sure about that entirely, if that might be a little bit of an overly optimistic number. Uh, so there is a low battery warning. So if this starts blinking the power button, then you realize that the low battery, uh, the battery's just starting to get a little bit low on you. And I've noticed that seems to happen after around 20 or so hours, but maybe it wasn't just a, a good set of batteries that I put in there originally. Okay, so one click gives you the, the, uh, the two reds. Click it again after a few seconds, it'll turn it off. Double click will give you the bright single LED headlamp uh, high beam kind of function. Press it again, it'll turn off. And if I hold it just long enough, I get two white LEDs, and this will cast a pretty significant beam also. But when you, now that they're on, you can hold that down. It's not gonna show up very well because it's pretty bright in my living room here. But if you hold that down, you can actually adjust, uh, you can see that, the intensity. It'll flick and then go back down, then come back up, until you get the brightness setting that you want, okay? So I'm gonna lower that down to the, its lowest setting. Uh, this way I can conserve batteries whenever I need it because I don't generally have to cast off a lot of light whenever I'm using this thing. If I'm hiking through the woods at night, I'm probably more likely to be using the high beam feature when that'll cast a beam about 90 meters. If I'm just poking around the campsite, I'll probably just use the two reds. This way it doesn't mess up my night vision. So it's a great little unit to have if you're doing any kind of camping or outdoors evening activity, um, working around a bonfire or anything like that. But it's also good to have in your house if you're not a camper, just that you've got that in the event of a power failure. You can just pull this out. You can keep your hands free to do whatever it is that you want to do. Um, I mean, you know what it's like. You got to have you got to have your hands free every time you go to the washroom. So having a headlamp kind of comes in handy for that. So there's a quick little review of the Princeton Tech Viz. It's actually, you know what? Not bang for, not a good, uh, bad bang for the buck. It comes in around fifty dollars. You can pick it up from most uh, outdoor retailers. Uh, but con considering all the functions and features that it has is probably quite affordable considering a lot of them, the other ones that are around the same price range, uh, sorry, same feature range are about 80 or $90. So this one being significantly more affordable and it's got all the features that you would really ever need. There's only one thing lacking and that's the strobe functionality, which some headlamps use. Again, you're looking at the $80, $90 range just for that extra feature. And some people might use that as a distress beacon, but for the most part, uh, you could probably always use another means for distress. Um, if you've got the ability to find that distress feature and strobe functionality, odds are pretty good you're not physically in dire straits. You can use a, a signal mirror or something like that. So there you go, hope you enjoyed it. And if you're in the market for a headlamp, definitely wanna take a look at this one. It's well worth the money and it's very, very affordable.